What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Moz Anomalies channel. All right, guys. I was on, I don't know if any of you guys jumped on the Facebook uh, Moz Anomalies research page, um, but I was, uh, had jumped in the middle of a conversation from this, uh, one guy had posted a certain picture from uh, um, the, uh, I, the ISRO, in India, um, saying that I'm on the Mar Martian service. Here's the picture anyway. I'll show you real quick. I'm not going to make this too long. Um, this is what he had posted. This is the exact picture he posted. I'm saying, wow, that's pretty cool. But I was kind of in, there was two guys going back and forth. So anyway, he puts, oh, uh, this picture, you know, posted by India. And he said, well, no, this is an artist rendition. And I'm saying to myself, no, it's not. This is an actual picture. Secondly, which I, what I didn't tell him was it's not India's picture. Okay. This is a NASA picture, and the reason why I know that is if you guys are familiar with my Google Plus page, go back and look at it. It's my banner picture. So I know it's not from India, um, and obviously this has been right here. You can see the satellite's faked, obviously, because who's, who's taking a picture of the satellite? So anyway, and you can tell, and they've got their logos up here and everything else. But So I think they just took it from you know, NASA, borrowed it from NASA, because they are working hand-in-hand. Hand. I don't care what anybody says. Long before they just made their pact, as everybody's saying here and there, saying that they just signed the thing. Saying, Trust me, they've been working together for quite a while. That's that's a fact. Um, but what's crazy about it, and I was going back and forth, I said, this is a real picture. He says, no, it's an actual... Well, the guy, Alan, which posted this original picture, said, no, well, I was told by this person here who he's been going back and forth with um, that it's been debunked. It's an actual artist rendition. Most artist rendition pitches start with an original picture. And so the guy gets on later on and says that. He says, well, if I was going to do an artist rendition of a picture, a picture of Mars, I would take an original and then throw a 3D uh, you know, picture over it, so to speak. Um, I don't call it a 3D picture. I call it a, I call it a masking. Because picture this, this whole photo here being black and white and... Uh, now they can do whatever they want with it. They can literally go, okay, if there's anything in here in these craters, we'll go ahead and just fill it in with, uh, you know, blur. Um, we'll do, use some techniques, some other techniques like pixelations, blind effects, you know, ghost stuff out. stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll throw a whole blur with orange over it, a red, reddish orange. And guess what? It'll hide everything we need to hide in this picture. Okay. And I'm going to show you. That's absolutely true. So what I do is I, you can see where I chopped it off. I don't care about the satellite and the logos and stuff like that. And again, this is not from India. This is from, this is a NASA picture. Unfortunately, I don't have a real link to this. I've looked for it. So maybe that's what they're just passing it off as. Eh, it's nothing more than an artist rendition. So there is no real basically a link. However, um, if you were to go here, this is the picture I'll give you guys. But it seems like this one's not quite the same either. Meaning they might have manipulated a little bit further. Um, but I'll still throw it up there. Plus, you have this one here, the one I'm going to throw up there, um, so you guys can see this particular picture. You guys can analyze yourself. I'll give you the original here, what I've cropped, and I'll let you take a look. Okay, so I decided to say, well, let me just go ahead and see if we can get rid of some of the color. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better. I like that. Um, but what I look for is I look for shapes. I look for anything like, you can see something right here. It's something that's doing this. Um, I'm starting to see like little things, but nothing really to get excited about. So let's go ahead and go a little bit more, smooth it out. And I put a little contrast in it, docking it up a little bit, see if I can't find anything. But this is what really stood out to me. I started seeing something laying right here in this, this crater. Now uh, you really can't see too much, but it looks like a shape or a shadow of something there. And I'm seeing these other things laying here. There's something here. Something here. Looks like this big box or block type thing with something coming out of the top. Um, and I'm seeing other like, well, I'm thinking, well, are these caves, are these kind of some kind of weird things going on? But this is what really stuck out, stood out for me. Look at this right here. What the hell does that? As it comes up, well, it comes along here, goes up on an angle, goes back to an angle, and then goes back down. It looks like it's inside some kind of round thing. Hmm. And I'm seeing these other lines in the background and so on and so forth. I'm going, okay, let's keep going with it. So then I took some of the color out. And you can see it's still colored, but most of it's taken out. And I started seeing more things. And you start to see more things popping out. And you can see like faded lines here in the background. See, this is something on top of this. Or inside this um, crater area here. I said, okay. But this is, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this. Let me just backtrack just for a second. Have you noticed this right here? It looks like, it almost looks like a crater off in the distance. Why does it look like it's off the ground? Like it's got a shadow. Okay. Now, what's crazier is this one actually looks like it, too, and you don't notice that until you get to these, start to get to these 
when I, you start to get rid of the color and all, you can start to see this one looks like it's off the ground. This one looks like it's off the ground. Now, it kind of coincides with that video I just done about a uh, larger city yet found on Mars. It looked like this big white almost circle and it was casting a shadow. So I was thinking maybe it's the top of a mountain and that it was casting a shadow. But no, it looked like just a cast, uh, like a shadow was casted from just a round or almost round uh, area. It looked like it was floating in the air. I'm thinking, well, maybe that's the way to camouflage a large, large city to have it underneath it. Or maybe it's a way of blocking the radiation from getting them. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. Why would they? Why does it look like it's floating right there? It literally looks like it's floating. Okay, so now we go to the black and white and look at this. Check that out. This don't look like, this just doesn't look like anything that you would see naturally laying on a planet. Um, and I do get to the, I'm going to show you the next one, which I show arrows. And this is the exact picture I threw up on the uh, Mars Anomalies research page, page itself. And you can see these things that look like they're reaching out and there's different things branching off in all around here. There's something round with something sticking out of the center. Right there, see that? Okay, so again, this one looks like it's floating. And you can see like there's a space between the ground itself and upward. Same thing with this large one. They look like they're hovering off the ground and there's something literally underneath it in the shadow. So I don't know what this stuff is, guys. I mean, I'm just taking guesses, of course. This is purely speculation. Um, there's something right there. It looks like there's something round and it has some other shape thing laying right here on the ground. Um, I don't know. Um, ancient spacecraft, structures. It's anybody's guess, of course. But come on. Now, I'm going to put the arrows up. This is exactly the same page. Let me just branch out a little bit. Let me back out a little bit. And just to show these guys the quick things that I've seen laying on the ground, this here, this here, the shadow of whatever this is in the ground here, this piece, and let me get back in. This piece right here looks round. It has a, what looks like a block kind of thing. There's another one of these things right here, almost the same shape right here with something sticking out of it. And you can see whatever it is, it's rectangular in shape. I don't know if you can see that, but let me shop it just a hair bit. I'm going to jump in, try to give you guys a better example or more of an up close. Let me just take some of the sharpness out a little bit. Right there, you can see these things right here. And you can see what looks like things in the background. Now, see this the way this looks to be floating. You can actually see like this ground underneath it. Like the background literally in between this and the ground. I don't know. What do you guys think? Shopping it up a little bit. And you can see these things. Now, again, you got these other shapes in the ground. This right here was kind of wild because it has it almost looks like an oval opening. This right here, which I didn't put an arrow on. There's all kinds of stuff in here, guys. I mean, I don't know what this stuff is, but it's clearly not just simple rocks or small mountain uh, things just laying there. But you can see that there is like platforms or things that are higher off the ground than seeing this picture. See how like it's all kind of distorted and it looks like just a bunch of um, craters when clearly it's not. There's things on top of or inside these craters and some of these things, I don't believe they're craters. They, they appear to be hovering. Like I said, this large one here, this smaller one here, they look like they're off the ground. What would be the purpose, if that is true, what would be the purpose of using something like this? And these would have to be pretty large. So it makes you wonder, what are they, are they hiding from something? Is it their way of, their own little defense? Is it is it possible? Look at this. I mean, there's things like shapes in this lower left corner that look like weird structures or something. And of course, a lot of this will be, you know, uh, artifacts of the picture because of this uh, manipulation and so on. Um, right here, like you can see, like it looks like, structures or something and they look like they're branching off i mean you guys can give me your take on this of, uh, of course as always because i like to get your input on this but look you can see like things like in the background that just they don't look like just nothing they they don't look like just simple rocks like there's something right here something right here it's going down bigger object there something looks like it's raised up in the air like a block and like i said this right here looks like a, like a little tower in the middle of a ringed area which also has a shadow See that right there? There's like a shadow underneath it. So I don't know. I mean, is it just trick of the eye? I'm going to tell you what, it may be, but this stuff here, this one here, as well as this one, is not trick of the eye. That is 100% something more than just trick of the eye. That is clearly, to me, intelligently made. And the reason why these are off the ground, I don't know. I have no idea. 
But I think I just I just figured I'd bring that to you guys because I just thought that was really wild how, you know, people are like, well, no, it's nothing. It's debunked. It's just an artist rendition. It's not. And it, even if it is, because like I said, they like to put their 3D uh, cover over it, so to speak. And like I said, I don't call it a cover. I don't call it a uh, their little rendi rendition of it. I call it a actual masking. And that's their way to hide everything they want to hide. And they just throw a color over it and you end up with this. And there's nothing there to see. But you can still see in this picture, you can still see this anomaly right here in the upper right corner right there. And that's the picture. Now, the other one is a little different, so I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it's a, um, I don't know if they, if it is there. I didn't actually take this picture apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you both um, and see if you guys can, like, pull this thing apart and find out. But there is no NASA link. So I don't know if it was taken down um, because it's clearly a picture. In other words, it's clearly real because you would not find things like this in the picture. And this is this echoes a lot of the stuff we have seen on this planet to begin with, like a lot of these different shapes. And so I'm not surprised at this at all. But um, what I'll do is you'll get both. So you'll get this one here as well as the large picture here, because this is this is this is a. 820 by 300 JPEG. So you'll get both of these. The one I've got here, which I've cropped. Um, you guys can analyze because I can see that there pretty good. For some reason, I can't see it in this one. And even if I jump into it, I can see what looks like something. This is that other thing standing, but there's something. It should be right about here. And I'm not quite seeing that. I can see it pretty good right there. And that's this is not even really zoomed in. Zooming in, you can see it right there. Here's that other weird block. So I'm trying to use that in a relative... Trying to use it as, as, as a point of reference, and it's right there, but I'm not really seeing that other thing. So it depends on how much they might have taken and went a little bit further with it. So, like I said, you'll get both pitches. You guys can tell me what you think, because this is just wild again. Just more things found on this, um, on this on this planet, and I'm still waiting for India to throw up more pitches there, and they haven't done it yet. You know, some people are saying, well. Maybe they're just uh, checking out more of the instruments. And it's like, well, then why put out the first three pitches? There's four total on here, but one's of Earth, and the other three of our, uh, uh, the pitches they had supposedly taken. So, you know, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not going to make this in too long. Oh, and by the way, I've got a really good one coming up. It's going to kind of coincide with the video I just did about, um, uh, you know, my thoughts on a, a civilization on Mars. And the crazy thing about this, guys, this was a hypothetical. And yet, I got a couple of three or four thumbs down on a hypothetical? Come on, man. I'd be more I'd be more pleased to see people give me your comment of why you believe it's not true. To me, it's like, uh, that's stupid. And they just put a thumbs down. And to be honest with you, I don't lose sleep over that. Uh, um, I, I'm thrilled. I don't care if there's 100 thumbs down. The point is, I look at the real comments, the people who want to leave a... Uh, an intelligent comment about what they believe. They might say, Chris, I think you're wrong. This is my hypothesis. Or this is this is what I think is going on. And I'm okay with that. And I might, you know, uh, reply to you and say, well, if that's true, then why is this like this? Or so on and so forth. Or I totally agree. I would rather have more intelligent exchange as opposed to, oh, I don't think so, and thumbs down. Come on, man. That's just childish to me. But whatever. Like I said, I don't lose sleep. I just thought that was kind of uh, comical to see that. But anyway, guys, got another cool one for you because this one here, the picture I'm going to show you, oh, yeah, it goes back. And I'm not going to give too much away of it, but I'm going to. It goes back, and it, it's going to. It's going to kind of coincide what I've been saying in my video, in that uh, hypothetical video. So stay tuned for that as well. Got some cool ones com coming up for you. Anyway, guys, let me let you go. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. As always, comment, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, see you next pick.